gon' chew me, cut the showtime. Go ahead and call the gang up for the one time. Rap food rhymes, got them on the line. And my life's still great, I'm doing just fine. Hands up. We're gonna start with Childish Gambino, Bando Stone in the New World. We gave this a 70%. Me and Ryan were on the mob review. Ryan, are you still listening? No. <laughs> I'm still listening. I, I, I'm sorry. Honestly, 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 this is where I didn't know how y'all were going to feel about it. Well, rather you. Because it wasn't like I was just trying to drown, downplay the album. It's just, it did not hit for me. Like, I recognized the soundtrack vibes. I literally was listening to it. And I was like, I could see this being in a movie or being in a TV series or whatever he's putting it in. But none of those songs was I just able to pick out and be like, I just love this. In fact, the ones that didn't have like many lyrics, I got to find the name of them. They were on the mob review. Like were the ones I was like, I could see this as some atmospheric music. But like mm -hmm. the raps, the rock, the pop, I didn't really care for any of them. The Yoshinoa, I literally listened to the album Blind and I was like, wait, Drake's on here? I was like, I thought they were beefing. And then I opened it up. I was like, oh, no, he's just doing the flow thing to kind of diss him. <laughs> like, I, I didn't care for it. I like the album. Now, that first song, I was like, okay, oh. Childish Gambino. I was like, that, okay, Donald. That first song. It made me go like, it was a mess. I was, was, a mess. I was like, okay. But then, but then it got into Lithonia and then um, Survive with Chloe. And I was like, okay. And I liked the different vibes that he was doing throughout the album. Now, I'm not gonna deny there was some skips. I did skip some of them songs in there, but yeah. overall, but overall, I thought it was pretty good. Like I'm still, I got my songs like always. I got my songs. I'm gonna stick to my songs. But I have listened to the album top to bottom twice, and I didn't mind it. Yeah, and I can see why you like Lithuania. Like when I was googling like the albums trying to on Twitter, well not googling on Twitter trying to see what folks was talking about it. I was like that wasn't my favorite. Like Yoshino was the one that I was like, okay, I kind of rock with it. And then the atmospheric ones that I can't. What's the name of them? Real love and no excuses. I kind of like yeah. those. Those are the only things that got saved. I like real love. Uh, a place where love goes. Real love. Survive featuring Chloe, Lithonia, and In the Night are my top five. Now. I don't like the song in full, but the song that has the Flo Millie feature, Flo Millie slid on that song. She did. Well, that's the one where she I agree with that. Part of the song did. was okay. And the rest of it, I, I don't like the song as a whole, but they put Flo Millie's verse last. And I was like, I'm going to listen to it because I ain't heard Flo yet. But Flo slid. Was that the one where it sounded like an anime chick was talking yes, in the beginning? That's what I, was I skipped it. I skipped it. It was, I tried. <laughs> I tried making I a like, tweet and the tweet on? ain't go through. I was like, what's going on? And I, 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 I almost I risked don't it, like, but I said, I'm going to stick to it. Um, I was like, this would be in my top five if if this was just like a different song, if they just pulled the other the other artists out. like, Because mm -hmm. I like Flo's verse, but I'm not going back to that song. Yeah, because oh, you're going to have to get past that part. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, That's I like sat up and I was just like, ugh. ugh. Now, <laughs> now Sage did tell me about Ada Vista. I'm I have I'm gonna go back and listen to that because I didn't know he released that. So I'm gonna go back and listen to that. So the next mob review we got, funny enough, is Ralph's and he's not even in here. The Devil Slim J Slim Shady, Coupe de Gras. Uh Ralph gated at 88 percent. Ralph, if you hear us in the chat, are you still listening? I'm gonna tell you I'm not. Ruff called me ugly. He said God don't like I don't ugly. like ugly. What I do that was ugly. But um nah, I'm not spending the block on the on the Eminem album. I get what he was trying to do, but like I said before, I think I've just outgrown Eminem as an artist. Um that controversial music, I'm just not gonna be like, ooh, let me listen to this. Now fuel with Jid on it, I did like that. And I, I heard there was I, one song where he like wrote a letter to his daughter or something. Did you like that one? I did. So I did like those, but those were towards the end of the album. Like he, they gave that when I'm gone, Mockingbird type vibes. And I was like, okay, I can vibe with this. But like the beginning of the album when Slim Shady was just like going on a rampage, I was like, I'm not saving none of these. Like this mm. is not, this not finna show up in my shuffle. No, sir. Mm. Fair enough. Fair enough. But Ralph, let us know if you still listening. 
He said, "Yeah." He said, "Hell he said, yeah!" Hell yes, actually. I play it just about every day. I put that shit on everything. That's what he I- said. <laughs> 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 Why you do that? <laughs> but um, moving down, Hearthstone Psycho. We kind of talked about this a little bit. Ryan gave it a eighty-three percent. Are you still listening, Ryan? Yes. And 83 is accurate because I ain't messed with the first two discs, but the portion I love, absolutely love it. I would agree with Ralph about the Slim Shady 2 album after Guilty Conscious because that's when he starts pulling out out of that Slim Shady persona is where I started was like, you know, I was like, okay, I can vibe with this. But everything up to that point, I was like, oh, no, sir. (laughs) I was like, oh, no, sir. No, sir. And and this is coming from somebody who used to listen to Eminem heavily. Like back in high school, I listened to Eminem heavily. And I was like, I can't get jiggy with this. When, maybe maybe when I he was I, angry at the world. Yeah. Oh. Like he made some angry music. Like once you get past like the mainstream <laughs> stuff, like the real Slim Shady, Without Me, Business, like the songs that he does with Dre, Eminem's music is really dark and, and, and like evil. She was like, "I'm not angry no more. This ain't really serious." <laughs> like this, not, like this, like this, not this, not red, this not resonating with me. <laughs> That's great. But uh, um, why Ralph and Sage arguing? That's why Ralph need to be in the live. The fans want you here. He can't be cooking the way he responded back and forth. Look, right, he so can't be burn. cooking. That meatloaf burning. You can't get conceptual masterpiece. And then the I last know, album, that last album we did for July, um, me and uh King did a mob review on Megan. We gave it a 66%. King, are you still listening? Yeah, I'm still listening. Um, I will say I will bump her up to a 67%. You shaking um, your hips more to it? I uh, uh, <laughs> I'm the type of person that music has to, music has to sit on me for a little while, and her album it didn't sat on me. And I I put she got like one or two songs off her album that's on my workout playlist, so it come on every day I'm in the gym. I, I can pick songs and listen to them as I'm driving. So I say yeah, I'm still listening to me, even though yeah, I'm just leaving it at that. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I ain't been back. Ooh. Would you lower your score if you was rating it now? I ain't been back. I would give it the I would give it the same score that I have now. It's a solid. I think I gave it a solid. Like it's a solid mm-hmm. album, solid. but it just I just it don't stick. It didn't give me nothing to come. It didn't give me nothing to come back for. Yeah, I just got my three rattle with them girls and then spin. Like and like, like if it down. like if it comes on, like if it comes yeah. on, I'm gonna listen to rattle. I'm gonna mm-hmm. listen to Otaku Hot Girl. But like, mm. yeah. yeah, I I ain't been back. I ain't been back. She now, been now the started. video. Now, when she drops the Mamushi video, I'm I'm gonna watch that. I'm excited to see that video because the little sneak peek she showed is giving Tokyo Drift, where she was in the parking garage with all of like the um the cars with the neon lights under them. I was like, uh oh, not Tokyo Drift. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the video is like because I I like Megan The Stallion's videos. I I just haven't spun the block on this album. She could do a visual. My girl yeah. can do it. I mean, she her efforts might be a hit or miss, but she can do a visual. Same thing with That's her and Cardi. They can do some visuals now. As someone who don't watch music videos much, I will say theirs have definitely stuck out. Yeah. Like they they keeping it alive, in my opinion. And Victoria, Victoria Bonet can do a bit shit. I had to watch, yo, when we get to these music videos, I had to watch, uh, our right came up right after. I was like, this is such a palate cleanser from the shit I just watched. Yeah. I watched the all right music videos today when I was playing in my garden after work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're going to move on to these non mom reviews. So, so. Albums that came out that we haven't done mob reviews for. We got JT, City Cinderella, Imagine Dragons, Loom, and Ice Spice Y2K. Let me get the Imagine it's Dragons out the way. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah don't, don't, don't get that out the way. <laughs> let, me get the, let me get the Imagine Dragons out the way. I don't. I can't vibe with it. 
I can't vibe with it. I, I think it's it's something I don't know. I don't know what it was, what was in the air when Imagine Dragons dropped that first album with radioactive and stuff in it, but it's not there no more. It's not in the do air I, no more. Do Imagine Dragons need to hang it up? Yes. Ooh, flat screen. I could be, but I would say this though, because I because I listen to like how do I explain this? I like soundtrack music, which is a kind of some of uh the reason that I like Childish Gambino's album. Some of Imagine Dragons songs are soundtrack music because some of their songs have been used for like League of Legends and stuff like that. So so listening to it, I was like, okay, these sound these songs sound like some we'll throw in a movie trailer, a game trailer, something like that. But as an album, like sitting there and listening to music, I was like, I don't buy with this. Fair. Like there had to be some there had to have been something in the air when Imagine Dragons first came out with radioactive demons on top of the world, that whole vibe, because it's not it's not in the air no more. It's not in the air no more. Yeah. They had they had like their three to four years where they was like one of the tops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they I'm, tried I'm like they that. tried to like they tried to come back with Thunder. I got tired of that real quick. I like Thunder. I like Thunder. Personally. I feel you. It got old. It got old. It, Every it, time it, you turn it, on the it, radio, it. Thunder. 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 It, it, got, oh, like, it, got, the thunder. it got tired. It got tired. It it was one of those they overplayed it. They it did. Got tired. It got tired. Mm-hmm. But um, which one y'all want to talk about first? So let's talk about that because I actually time. like JT. I, I want to go I listen to it. It's Cinderella. I wasn't mad at that. What and was the vibe, Galvin? The reason I'm that. not mad at sitting Cinderella is. JP did what I wanted her to do as an, a solo artist. Try shit. This is your first time. This is your first me say, let's try some shit. And that's what she did. She got different type of beats, different type of vibes on that little mixtape. And I thought, I was like, okay, you experiment. You in the kid, you in the lab. And I'm even with you. And I appreciate that. Because a lot of these don't get in the lab as we finna get into with Ice Spice. She wasn't in the lab. <laughs> but they actually got in the lab and was trying to see what worked for her. And I feel like this was like an experimental mixtape. She wanted to see what we was going to vibe with as fans, what we wasn't going to vibe with as fans. Because she gave us different sounds. And I enjoyed it. And I just took back to JT album. JT coming on my workout playlist. I listened to it today when I was um on the leg press. I would agree with that, that the album does sound very experimental. Because when I was listening through the album, I was like, it just sounds like she threw a bunch of shit yeah. together on this album. And, and, and looking at it from that point of view as experimental... Okay, but cohesiveness wise, I just don't feel like that was a very cohesive album. She said in a video she posted on Twitter that this is, or it might have been a retweet, that this is a mixtape. She didn't have enough, a lot of time to work on this because she was in and out on tours and stuff. She was like, she's not really. Do do you think? I feel like maybe she should have maybe took the time i understand you might saying that you didn't have the time but like if this is like your first like full body of work but i think that's I what makes sense in my opinion now if she would have been like this is my first album y'all go get it then i don't know okay hold on hold on slow down but you know you spit out a few mixtapes to see the feel you know megan spit out a few mixtapes when she first the scene um but, I, I, but, but my thing is but my thing my thing is is that we know jt like this, not this, not like. Uh, let no, me come yeah, out. That's what people get confused. We don't know JT. We know the City Girls, and that's what that's our whole point. That's what you're saying. Y'all think y'all know JT, but y'all don't know her. Y'all know the City I, Girls. I, I, but but I but but I sure. But I feel like some of them songs she put on that album could be City, City Girls. Song. Could be City but, Girls. Which is why she let us say she experimented with different sounds. Maybe, do y'all want me to stick to like the traditional city girls right? Do y'all want me to go like the down south route, like I did with serving or swing? Do y'all want me to go to the, you know the more deep in my bag, you know, in my vulnerable bag route with intro with the hope intro? Like I feel like this was the per- this is the perfect time for her to go experiment. You a new solo artist? <laughs> <laughs> show it, show it, show it, show it. Look, show it. listen, listen. But listen, 
listen. <laughs> I'll say it's a couple. But songs but but if to, if I listen to the content of, in in certain contexts of some of them songs, I would have to agree because I don't want to hear you about smuggling them them stuff in the airport. Okay, <laughs> I didn't I didn't want to know that it was some things about JT that she put in. I didn't want to know that. But I'm saying y'all let these niggas get out here and rap about bullshit every day. I I, I gotta mean, give. I mean, I, as the designated misogynist on this podcast, I agree with Galvin. I we do let. I, I you know what? No, shake her ass. Man, just talk about shake her ass for fifteen songs on her last album, and we look. Shout shout out to shout out to Sage's podcast, beat the BBC podcast. He, I think he said in one of his episodes, just like we got a lot of bad male artists. And they drop a lot of bad male albums. We got to give the women time, too. We can't just expect every girl rapper to be the next Nicki Minaj. Some of them got to be... I feel like this... Say, someone who sucks. <laughs> someone someone got to suck. I feel like we, we didn't give her enough time like, as a solo. Yes, as part of the City Girls, she was an entity as a City Girls. They had a sound. They had a look. They had a vibe. But she don't want to be that no more. She want to be her... So well, if but if she wants if she wants to lead, develop her sound. I feel like I feel like the 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 contradiction with that is that you go in there and you make songs that sound like city girls. So if you if you want to if you if you want if you wanted to go solo and distinguish yourself. But if you if you really look at the album, it's only one song in that album that could be a City Girls album song, and that's not the album. I can see that. And I can't see Carisha on none of them other songs JT put on that album. Because Carisha ain't gonna be able to keep up. She's not as lyrically JT not lyrical, a lyrical goddess. But Carisha is not as lyrical as JT. Carisha wasn't gonna be able to keep up. Except for Uncle Al, about throwing your pussy and catching it. Carisha's gonna be able to keep up with that. But Swain, JT coming, serving. Hope the intro. It wasn't gone. Lemon pepper. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna just say I'm gonna just say I want I want to impress with JT with Cindy Cinderella. I I want I want to impress. I feel like if she felt like she didn't have enough time, maybe she should have made the executive decision and found some time. I know she did an interview with Joe Budden where she said that's the only reason it's not a full project because she didn't dedicate time to it. But I don't get that either. Like, were you on a time constraint? Did your label say you had to drop something? Because what stopped you from making this a real project? I wasn't mad at her mixtape. I wasn't mad at it. Compared to some of the other shit her counterparts releasing, I wasn't mad at it. It was fresh for me. It was like some of the stuff was new. Some of the beats she gave was new. Like D.O.D., the whole was new. She brought back Jeezy. Jeezy them vibe from the South. Like, it just didn't like, compared to I Spy shit that we finna get into, please. Yeah, so we just touched we just touched into our time block for music videos, but y'all want to keep it going with Y2K? Yes. Hit head. After, the, after I have to be forced to um listen to it. Yeah. I, you know what? What did what did Ralph what did Ralph call Eminem's al- album? A a a conceptual masterpiece. This is a comic. This is a comical masterpiece. This album makes me laugh. Say, let me say this. Let me say this. Let me, let me say this. Let me say this. Um, for those listening, I am starting a fundraiser, a gun GoFundMe, and a Kickstarter to get Ice Spice out the studio. <laughs> this is a comical <laughs> masterpiece. This is enjoyable. I, I laugh. We gotta, we gotta find Ice Spice something else to do. <laughs> like, what are, Bro. what are her, what are her other hobbies? Does anybody know? <laughs> Dancing. The album. She like twerking. She like shaking her fat butt. She shakes her fat butt. Does she like anything else? Because that's why I cannot be mad at JT. Because as we can see, it can in fact be worse. It can That Y2K being on that trash can was very fitting. I think somebody, when the album cover first dropped, I saw a tweet on Twitter that said she is foreshadowing that this album was ass. And when I was listening to it, I was like, you know, well, I listened to JT album way more than I, I way before I'm I listened not, to um, look. I, I don't even drink, album. but I'm sipping. Again. We're not fucking, but I let oh. them put the chip in. Like, come on, that's funny. 
Get him off. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Cut the cameras. That Get it. Funny. Funny. <laughs> that's funny, please. It was 20, it's 23 minutes that I cannot get back. Yeah, that was all they talking about. She gave me his fat, but put my pants up. That's all she get from me. I, I, I'm gonna I'm always um listen to thank you to shit because it's just beautiful. <laughs> I like that one too. I'm gonna always God, listen to that please. one. <laughs> <laughs> I lose anything before I lose my man uh, on the beat. I'll be going super saiyan. Like, oh, I like <laughs> man, <laughs> man, man, man. <laughs> see that one. <laughs> 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 Then again, uh, I like the fact that JT experiment with all them beats because we listen to Watch UK is one fat ass twenty three minute song. Her saying bullshit. Yes. She oh, said, hold on. She said, hold she said, she said I'm his. She said I'm his poopy, but I don't stink. I I smack my lips. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, I'm gonna be the one to defend defend Ice Spice. I we I want to give her some credit. This is an Ice Spice album. If she's a trash rapper, this is a trash album. That's just it. But but she did experiment with different flows. The first four songs, the beats did not sound like her typical SpongeBob drill beats. I feel like she actually tried. Now, this is, is this she is trash? Is, is she in eighth before. place? Is she in eighth place in the eight in the 18 Mario Kart race? Yes. Was it boo boo garbage? Yes, but she tried. I don't think she tried. I she don't, tried. I don't, I, don't, I don't think she tried. If, you, if, she an, tried. if an F student goes from making a 30 on a test to a 45, they tried. I, they failed, but they tried. But, but are you are you saying, so you're saying that Y2K is better than the previous singles that she's put out? Given that those ain't. Were those singles even good? No. Let me say this. Let me say this. I Let's just be honest. Oh. That she actually tried on, on that album. It's Fat But like lyrically, the way she was rapping in Fat But what she was saying in Fat But like it was like she really said I want her pee the paper. I was like, let me give these bitches something. The rest yeah. of the song sound like but, Ryan, that beat on and she punched in and I, I it was mind. it was oh shit, she on the spot. What <laughs> 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 I in. she ain't right there, she was punching in and I hate when rappers who punch in because you sound mess trying to make shit rhyme and be quick with it. Sit down and write. It's all right if you got to sit down for hours. I'm sorry I, to go for me. I feel like it's okay to accept that she's a trash rapper, but if if she the way that she tried some new things, I feel like she tried. She I tried. She failed, but she tried. I. It's some to dance to or some. I don't know. It's, I don't, it's I don't something. Feel, I, me personally, I, I, I feel like I, I am not struggling to accept that Ice Spice is a, is a, is yeah, a, I'm a not, trash I just rapper. That for her. I am not struggling. I feel like she is good for Instagram captions and dropping a twerk video. I feel like that's what she's good for, and we should accept that. It's and, okay. And, and if we, There's and no if, reason to expect anything more. And if we get into and if we get into these music videos, that's all she did. But I but I get it though. I get the sentimental value, and I get it that what Ryan just said we're all from the south. We grew up with Wayne, so to say that he needs to wrap it up, despite. The yeah. evidence that is sitting in front of our face yeah. is.